McGinley Orthopedic Innovations, in partnership with Dr. Eric Goshen, presents a cadaveric lateral fibula plating using IntelliSense handheld robotic drill technology. McGinley Orthopedics aims to lead innovation in orthopedic surgical instrumentation with new technologies that protect patients, improve outcomes, and reduce cost. The IntelliSense system is the flagship product from McGinley Orthopedics. The IntelliSense drill is a handheld robotic drill used in cases that call for plates and screws. It is compatible with any brand of plate or screw system and has highly sophisticated sensor technology that enables the drill to measure depth as it drills correlating with precise screw length measurement and enhanced functionality that cause the drill to stop automatically at the bicortices, preventing plunge. IntelliSense drill technology may improve patient safety and reduce OR time and implant waste. The specimen was positioned in a left lateral decubitus position for maximum ease of approach to the lateral fibula. Anatomical defects, such as fracture, were not present, nor were they created. An exaggerated incision was created to allow for maximum visibility during this filmed instructional procedure. Bony and soft tissue landmarks were identified. An approximately 6-inch longitudinal incision was made, and sharp dissection was taken down to the level of bone. Soft tissues were removed from the bone. Skin and soft tissues were retracted for maximum visibility. The surgeon selected a right-sided, 5-hole, 86-millimeter Acumed lateral fibula plate and soft-placed it in the surgical site to confirm its appropriateness for the application. The IntelliSense drill, equipped with its universal pin driver attachment, was used to secure the plate to the bone with a 0.062-inch olive wire. The universal pin driver attachment is available in the IntelliSense universal chuck set. Other available universal attachments include standard AO, keyed, and keyless chucks. Please note, universal chucks are not enabled with sensing technology. Like other surgical drills, the bottom trigger is for forward motion and the top trigger for reverse. Using the IntelliSense drill with its standard sensing technology attachments, the first hole was drilled in the distal portion of the lateral fibula plate. IntelliSense's proprietary sensing technology measures hole depth as it drills. This measurement correlates with a precise screw length measurement. An audible signal is heard at each cortex, and a real-time display of the drill depth measurement is shown on the controller. The IntelliSense drill is powered by its controller. The drill depth measurement, sensed by the IntelliSense drill, can be seen on the controller display. This measurement also accounts for the hardware offset. Hardware offset is a measurement of the thickness of the implanted plate. This measurement is calculated with the Equalizer Offset Reference Guide, also provided by McGinley Orthopedics. Measuring the hardware offset and entering it into the IntelliSense controller settings enhances screw selection accuracy by accounting for the contributions plate thickness makes to the needed screw length in order to have adequate screw purchase in bone. IntelliSense measurements are accurate to 0.6 millimeters with a confidence level of 99.7%. The IntelliSense drill bit was removed from the bone by activating the top trigger. With the IntelliSense measurement of 14.2 millimeters, the surgeon was able to forego a manual depth measurement step and automatically selected a 2.7 millimeter by 14 millimeter screw. Using the same drill settings and IntelliSense drill technology, a second hole was drilled in the distal portion of the lateral fibula plate. Again, note the audible tones with each cortex. Insight surgical lighting defaults to always on unless selected otherwise. Unicortical detection, an additional IntelliSense safety feature, is also active in the default settings. Unicortical detection acknowledges bone that naturally has a single cortex. This safety setting causes the drill to automatically stop after the first cortex breach, preventing plunge in sites with true unicortical bone. The IntelliSense drill bit was removed from the bone by activating the top trigger. Manual depth measurement is a time-consuming and often inaccurate and frustrating part of most orthopedic surgical procedures. Studies show that it takes, on average, one full minute per hole 
to manually assess drill depth with the IntelliSense measurement of 15.1 millimeters, the surgeon was able to forego a manual depth measurement step and promptly selected a 2.7 millimeter by 14 millimeter screw. Of note, current screw sizes for this hardware come in even lengths only. Using the same drill settings and IntelliSense drill technology, a third hole was drilled in the distal portion of the lateral fibula plate. The IntelliSense drill is ergonomically designed to become virtually weightless in the surgeon's hands when drilling at this angle, reducing operator fatigue. The IntelliSense drill bit was removed from the bone by activating the top trigger. With the automatic IntelliSense measurement of 19.5 millimeters, the surgeon was able to forego a manual depth measurement step and immediately selected a 2.7 millimeter by 20 millimeter screw. At this point in the surgical procedure, the 2.0 millimeter drill bit was exchanged for a 2.8 millimeter drill bit for drilling of the holes in the more proximal lateral fibula plate. The IntelliSense drill bit size setting is updated on the controller as updating this setting helps ensure the 0.6 millimeter drilling accuracy. Drill settings can be adjusted at virtually any time during the procedure. The IntelliSense drill has several modes, including bicortical, freehand, and multi-cortex. Bicortical mode is the most used and thus the default setting. In bicortical mode, the IntelliSense drill will automatically stop drilling when the second cortex has been breached. This automatic stop helps to prevent plunge injury to critical surrounding structures. Note that the drill continues to track the data for each hole drilled. Should the surgeon desire to review the data from a previous hole, simply select that hole number on the controller display. Using the bicortical mode setting for the IntelliSense drill, a fourth hole was drilled in the proximal portion of the lateral fibula plate. The drill automatically stops drilling when the second cortex has been breached. See the graphical display illustrating the two bone cortices. The IntelliSense drill bit was removed from the bone by activating the top trigger. With the IntelliSense measurement of 11.8 millimeters, the surgeon was able to forego a manual depth measurement step and promptly selected a 3.5 millimeter by 12 millimeter screw. The IntelliSense drill, again equipped with its universal pin driver attachment, was used to remove the olive wire as it was no longer needed to secure the plate. Using the IntelliSense drill in bicortical mode, a fifth hole was drilled in the proximal portion of the lateral fibula plate. Observe that the controller provides an audible tone with each cortex and automatically stops at the second cortex breach. The IntelliSense controller continues to store and display drilling data in a user-friendly and easy-to-interpret manner. The IntelliSense drill bit was removed from the bone by activating the top trigger. With the IntelliSense measurement of 12.6 millimeters, the surgeon was able to forego a manual depth measurement step and automatically selected a 3.5 millimeter by 14 millimeter screw. The sixth and final hole for this Acumed lateral fibula plate was drilled using the IntelliSense drill with its standard sensing technology attachments. The IntelliSense controller displayed the real-time drill depth measurement of 23.6 millimeters. The IntelliSense drill bit was removed from the bone by activating the top trigger. With the IntelliSense measurement of 23.6 millimeters, the surgeon was able to forego a manual depth measurement step and without delay selected a 3.5 millimeter by 22 millimeter screw. Using a mini C-arm, final x-rays were taken and evaluated. The surgeon was pleased with the hardware selection and placement for this application and the procedure was concluded. McGinley Orthopedic Innovations would like to thank Dr. Eric Goshen for the support and partnership.